Hey guys, System here, and this is Skyopolis 5. Hope you're all having a great day. Let's go ahead and jump back into this pretty cool pack. And, uh, in between episodes, I've worked on our base a little bit, just uh, a little more decorating. You may notice that uh, it's a lot more colorful now, I guess, a lot more cyan, right? So I ran around with a bunch of these spray cans and just kind of sprayed all of our blocks here. You can buy them for six bucks each on the Amazon, so they're pretty easy to get. I have one of them here. Yeah, right here. You just basically just right click on a block you want to die, right? Actually, I don't want to die anything, so you'll have to do it yourself. They only have uh, 256 uses per can, though, so you'll end up uh, probably going through several of them if you want to do a lot of blocks, but at this point, we really don't have anything left to buy that I really need, so yeah, I'll be just spending it on whatever, right? So anyway, decorated my base, and uh, I guess that was the major thing. Outside of that, the only thing I did was a little bit of crafting here. We're going to go ahead and set up our uh, wireless setup here so we can access our refined storage wirelessly, and it uh, should be really easy to do, so... Went ahead to grab this here, wireless craft grid. Grabbed ourselves a wireless transmitter and for the range upgrade. So really easy recipes, not that bad. I noticed this isn't charged too. So I must have not turned on my wireless charging yesterday when I set this up. Let's see here, let's see. Oh, there's a little switch there. Okay, I didn't hit that, right? Then if I put that on my bar now, there you go, instantly charged, good. So all we have to do to get this hooked up here is uh, basically go ahead, grab the wireless transmitter, find a Cable somewhere central. Probably put it right there, right? Uh, that's awesome. Throw some upgrades in that puppy as well. So let's go ahead and throw those in there. We'll have 48 block range from this uh, transmitter here. Then I think we just link it up to the controller, right? So you just do that. I think it says the coordinates there. So yeah, 3863 is the coordinates. And now we can access our craft grid, which is fantastic all around. Can I change the size? Yeah, that's good there. So yeah, we can access that now. And uh, also this thing can be worn as a curio. Don't think it matters which slot you put in either. I think I forgot to mention that too. They actually added the mod to make it so you have the engineer's goggles slot as well. So you can always have that worn as well too. So that is really cool. But now, uh, I guess we just need to set a hotkey. So let's go here, go to keybinds, go to category, hunt down wireless. Uh, really? Um, just wireless maybe? There you go. Awesome. And it's this one here, open wireless crafter grid. And why is it control G of all things? Is V, what is V set to? V is a pretty um, easy button to have it on, right? Do that. Head mode switch. Probably don't need that. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that. Escape. Done. And now I can just go ahead and access our uh, crafting grid whenever we want to. All around our base. And it should go to the edge of our base, right? Pretty easily. Yeah, we're not bad at all. 48 blocks, pretty good range. So we got wireless crafting. Now, what I want to go ahead and do now is probably go ahead and start working on mechanism. I want to start... Uh, I want to end up going to the end, too, and fighting the dragon. It's gonna get us our last water. I wanna to work towards our next cobble gen here. One of the main things kind of holding us back right now too is, is are these uh, steel casings. So we get into the mechanism, right? So the only machine we can make so far, I think at this point, if you actually look at the quest line here, is the metallurgic infuser. So you go down here, go to mechanism, you make this, and you work towards steel, then you get your casings, and then you get access to your other machines here. So that'll probably be our goal. Then we're gonna go ahead and automate this with laser IO as well. But once we have it set up, we go ahead and uh, it's not there. Uh, where is it here? We go ahead and make our last crafter, the ultimate crafting table. It's gonna unlock all the end game recipes pretty much, which is pretty cool, and make it so we can actually work towards our next level cobble gen. So let's go ahead and uh, get those automated. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set up these machines over here. So we're gonna set up our metallurgic fusers and uh, I guess automate them with laser IO. So that's kind of the plan. Go ahead and grab the stuff here. We need a bunch of things, that's good. There's my card holder, that is fantastic. I guess the first thing we should probably do is uh, make the metallurgic infusers. We're going to start off with five of them. Five should be should be enough for the pack, actually. Let's do that. There you go. Could technically use one, but it's a pain in the butt. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get these kind of all set down. And like I said, we're going to use laser O. It's going to be a little, I guess, more work than normal. But at the same time, it should be pretty cool and very smooth and very compact how it works here. But anyway, we're going to do it with a chest, too. So we'll import the items into the chest. They'll end up being sent by refined storage after it's all set up but I'm gonna set it up initially for kind of like chest crafting, right? So that's the thing. And we'll have two, just because two of the machines are gonna use iron, I need to keep one of them separate. So anyway, that is good there, and that's fantastic. So I guess the first thing we probably wanna do is hook these up to power. So the way we're gonna do that, I guess, is with the laser notes. Let's do this right here. And I guess four in, because I think it was seven deep, right? We will have a laser connector. Then we're gonna go ahead and get these all hooked up on a network really simply. So let's do that. And that right there, there you go. And that, oops, that that's not supposed to, let's connect to this one. There you go. 
I want the laser to be the connector of all of them. So we're gonna route all the items to wherever we want from that kind of point, which is cool. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, set up power, right? So we need a point. Apparently I did not grab one. There we go, we need a point here. Awesome. And then I guess I'll need some of these too. So let's just go ahead and do that. Grab ourselves a point. Fantastic. And the power will probably just pop right here. Now we're gonna route all the power through our new network here really easily. It's just using some cards. So I made some cards here. These are the, uh, the power cards, energy cards, right? Yeah, these ones right here. We're just gonna leave them on the white channel because it doesn't matter. There you go. We'll need six of them. We'll need one on extract. So we'll do that. Give one a, I guess, an overclocker upgrade. I don't know how far you can take it. It looks like only 4,000, which is fine because we're only producing 4,500. And that'll be our main extract. That'll go in the top of this one. So we'll just put it right there. Then all the rest, we should be able to just uh, kind of hit with card here. There you go. And uh, that's going to be on the east side just for reference. And uh, yeah, they're all powered up and ready to go. So that's how easy it is to set up the power for them. But uh, that's the easiest part. <laughs> anyway, that's cool. Next thing we need to do. So you kind of look at these these machines, right? What they need is a infusing material. So it's going to be redstone. And um, then you have to infuse the iron to make these alloys. And there'll be another one for, I guess, these basic control circuits. Then I guess the reinforced alloy, you need diamond. And this, I think that one also does the refined obsidian dust as well. This stuff, yeah, we'll have to do that. We can't even touch diamond until we get into diamond dust form anyway, so that's a thing. But we also need, so basically we need one for diamond. We need one for redstone. Uh, we need one for, what is the other one? Um, refined obsidian, because <laughs> that's going to make like atomic alloys and things. And then we need two, well, I'm going to set up two for uh, the steel production, because to do steel is like multiple steps, right? So here's the final form. I guess you smelt down the steel. You get that from the steel dust. You get the steel dust. You need to take a rich and enriched iron and uh, mix that with carbon, so coal. But you have to do that a second time too. So once with iron itself. So I guess that's the thing. So that's why we're gonna have two just for that. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, look at our next set of cards here. So our next set of cards, thinking about how many we need here actually. We're gonna need, we're gonna do all the infusing materials next, I guess. So we'll have coal, two for coal. So that's good. Actually, let's set them all the same. I think it's gonna be six, right? We'll have the one extract <laughs> and then one for each machine. That seems right, okay, that's good. And I'm gonna set these two. They have this little setting here. So basically right now we're connected to the back of the machines, right? So we can only interact with the back of the machines, but these machines actually have configs in them, right? So I'm gonna have them all set kind of differently. I guess uh, all the same actually. I'll have the tops to input. Then I'm gonna have the bottoms to, I think it's called extra, just like that. So we need to have it, have the transfer node know to interact with the right part of the machine, right? So we go to here to set all these cards at the same time, I believe. And I can set it to up, right? So up on all of them. So that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and pull them out because I think they remember the settings that lets you set a bunch at once, right? The other one that's gonna be different is gonna be this one, I think, right? And this one I can just leave on the default this will be our main extract one, so that's fine. This one will sit in this one, and it's gonna be pulling all of the uh, materials out of this chest here, right? So that's gonna be the idea. Now let's go ahead and get the rest of these machines set up real quick. So I think I have all the machines set the way I want here. Uh, these ones are all set to the same, right? So the input, output, top, then the extra bottom. These ones are a little different here, just because they're gonna be handling two stages of the same material, right? I think it's gonna be pretty much the only thing down here too, right? But it'll input through the top, output through the right, and then the extra in the bottom on this one. And this one, I guess, will be input on the left because that's where the item will just auto eject there, which reminds me I need to turn on auto eject. So do that. That's on that one. And then, yeah, it'll just kind of handle it from there. And that's good, right? So that'll be kind of the configuration there. Also set up a few more cards. So I have, uh, I guess, five more, right? So have these ones all set up. Go ahead and grab you and uh, show you what I said here. So this one is set to redstone. I used one of these here too, a counting filter. The counting filter is gonna make it so the target inventory will only have one of this item in the inventory at any time. You may notice too, actually I have that set wrong too. That should be set on down. Why do I have them all set to up? They should be all set to down. I set these all wrong, man. Good thing I checked them all, which reminds me these two are probably wrong as well then. There you go, because I set them all at the same time, right? You go down and down, because they're all extras. Keeping these ones separate too, because we can't actually use them yet. I need to wait until I can grind down the diamond for the reinforced alloys. And that one's gonna be for refined obsidian. And uh, again, it has to be done with the diamond. So can't do that yet. 
But this one here is going to be for the Ritzum. And uh, the reason I'm limiting the inventory too is um, in here. So these things have like a buffer. I don't know how much it is by default. When you upgrade them to the bigger factories, the buffer gets bigger and bigger. But you always have to have a certain amount of the material in here if you want to pre-buffer it, right? Also, it has this little slot here, which is going to hold another 64. So it has this big buffer plus the 64. This is going to make it so it can only keep one in that slot. That's basically the whole concept around that. Anyway, that's good there. Let's go ahead and put you here. I think I had a redstone in there too. Yeah, I did. So I do that. If I actually put another one in, there you go. It should just uh, go in there, right? So you can see there the redstone's going in, and that's fantastic. I want to go ahead and uh, do the same thing with the cool ones, right? That, that there. Uh, that should be good. I may go ahead and change one thing on that extract too, actually, the round robin. Uh, the main reason for that is, let's do true. Probably want to speed this one up too, actually, because it'll be doing numerous things. Let's turn it down to like a five. Yeah, that's good. Just because the coal is going to be a little funky, actually. Now I think of it. I may actually change that, actually, even more. Because it'll make more sense with the coal. Because the coal's got to go to two machines. Otherwise, I need to do it separately. So what we'll do, turn it down to one tick. And then it doesn't need to be that fast. So I'll just leave it on one item. And that way, it'll always do strict. I have it on strict, right? Yeah, no, enforce. That's what it is. It'll always try to send it to the next machine. That uh, should work. I guess I'll try that out here. So if I go ahead and grab, see here, like six coal and put this in here. Oops, put that in there. There you go. See if it actually put 30 in each machine. So that'll work perfectly. It'll keep that nice and even. And then we'll have a way of keeping redstone always in here. Uh, coal ore always in here. Then there'll be enriched diamond and then enriched refined obsidian. So it'll be the materials that are always set in here. And this chest we set to only have one in it at any time as well. So... That's a thing. And uh, that's good. So that's how I handled there. We have it so it can actually handle the redstone and this and this. So that's good. Next thing we want to do, I guess, is the insert of the items, right? So I'm going to need to go ahead, set up a bunch more cards here. So we need, uh, I think, five more, right? Or six more. We need one for the extract. And then, yeah. Also, I didn't show you this, too. I should show you this the way I set the last card. So let's go ahead and do this, this, and this. I'm going to have them all set to up so I can set all those at the same time. I can also set the channel at the same time too, which is nice. So I'm going to set it to magenta. Then I just need to go ahead and get the filter to their appropriate things. So I think I got the next set of cards going here. So this one will be the extract. So it's going to move the items out of the chest and into the machines, right? So that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, access the bottom side. Pop that one there. So it's going to pull it out of the chest and move it there. Now I set the filters on this one. We can only set up this one, this one, this one, right? So not too worried about it. Uh, let's go ahead and go to this side here. We want to go to the east side. Then we're going to have an insert on this one. You notice on these ones, I have them set to up so they're interact with the top of the machine. It's going to be able to put osmium or iron in that slot and nothing else, which is the way we want it. Then I have these other ones on the other channel. This is going to be for the other chest, right? So over here, let's go to the bottom because it's going to be iron as well. So I have a extract on that one. And then we'll have an insert on this one here. And I believe this one's set to iron if I actually did it correctly let's go ahead it's weird opening up these cards sometimes <laughs> i will say that but anyway that's good there and that's fantastic so now if i grab an iron and i popped it into here i just want to see if it kind of goes where it's supposed to so yeah it's going into the machine it's going to make the enriched iron then it should get pushed over here and get stuck but it'll be converted over to the second phase right right yeah there you go it's going to do the enriched iron and it's good to go so that one, that one, that one's taken care of. That's kind of the idea. So we, we got that all taken care of. And this one here, if I did a, let's do one of each that kind of wait for it to be done. It's going to try to make a basic control circuit and then it should get stuck in the machine. Then we'll just have to set the extracts and that should be the easiest part, right? That's good. Oh, it actually put in the item. It just can't pull it out. Okay, cool. So the last thing we should have to do is actually just set the extract channels. And uh, this is actually the easiest part. We are going to need some more item cards here. So up will be the correct one on these ones, right? So we'll just go up like that. Uh, we'll have them set to extract on all these machines. So we'll have them, I guess it'd be, whoops, not there. Uh, extract, right? So extract, extract, and extract. So it'll end up uh, being here. So I guess we'll have one on this one. I guess I don't only need two right now. I don't need one for this one. So I only need two. Then I'll need an insert on the yellow somewhere else, right? So just go ahead and do, um, that'd be default, I guess. Set that. And this one would be insert. And then we should be able to just go to the 
bottom side of that down and uh, pop that in there. And those items should start going in there. And there we go. We got steel dust and we got uh, our control circuits. And the last one should be getting done. I just need a little bit more redstone in there. You know what? I'll just throw a bunch of redstone in there for right now. And that should handle that. And basically we have these machines chest auto crafting, right? We have to handle the next part of it, which is probably keeping uh, one of the materials that need to go here at all times. But uh, that should be pretty easy. But yeah, that handles that part. So I'm going to head and hook the exporter to the, uh, I guess, the first chest there. I'm going to throw one of these cards in here. It's a uh, regulator upgrade. And what this thing could do is basically the same thing the other one could do, where we could set amounts of things, right? So I could actually tell it to store, I guess, 62 iron in there, which is great. I'm just going to tell it to store one cool and one redstone in there right now. And that should make it so it uh, gets one in there, right? So we'll kind of check it out here. Let's do that. Sweet. And that stuff's going to go in here until it fills up this machine and this machine. And then always just keep one of those in the chest. So that's kind of the idea. You see here, it looks like the coal's already done. It's going to finish up with the, I guess, the redstone here in a couple minutes. Shouldn't take too long, actually. And once that's finished, it'll just have one sitting in the chest there, ready to go. And uh, that's going to be exactly what we want. So it's basically going to do the same thing as that uh, counting filter is going to do, but to the chest, right? So that's kind of the idea there. And we'll be able to use that to enrich the diamond. You can, I should mention that too. There's like enriched materials too. So you get to enrich. And a lot of people are going to say, you should enrich your redstone. I already have 60,000 redstone. I only need 48,000 for the pack. I don't care. Uh, coal, we're getting it from three different sources now. It's going to go up quite quickly. Again, I don't care. I only care about the diamond enrichment and the enriched obsidian but basically this takes one diamond like it, it usually only give you i think it's like 10 millibuckets or something when you put it in the machine right i think it is anyway it doesn't matter but it turns it into a form where you get a whole bunch it'll turn one diamond into 80 millibuckets so it's uh way more efficient and i'll do it for diamonds and for fine obsidian i just don't care about these materials but we have about uh, yeah that regulator is just gonna make it so one always sits in this chest here and that's fantastic so there you go we got our first deal all smelted up which is fantastic and uh, with that we'll be able to go ahead and actually make our first casings i also went ahead and made a couple crafters here a interface also made another regulator and a crafting upgrade that's where i need that actually made a recipe too for the enriching uh, sorry enriched diamond so it's one diamond equals an enriched diamond so that is cool just so we have it and i don't have to do a trip back anyway let's drop you off drop you off we don't need you probably don't need you on me either Let's go ahead and grab some of these casings though. So let's grab like four or so. That looks fine. I don't need a crusher yet. We do need the energized smelter. So let's get that. Then it actually wants you to make a basic enriching factory. So that's the, the second level we're in, right? So do that and that. You can actually do that two ways. Like I could actually do it with the energized smelter too, just by making one of these here, one of these basic tier installers. I could also do it to all the metallurgics, but I'm not too worried about that right now, actually. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab this here. This is the enriching, and this one's the smelter. Gonna want the smelter here, the enriching there. Actually, before I do that, I wanna get some stuff in place. There you go. Good, uh, get you out of here, you out of here, you out of here, I'm gonna fall, and probably get you out of here. <laughs> and we're gonna set up some crafters underneath these ones, because I'm gonna be using these for probably quite a bit of auto crafting, actually, over time. So let's do that. Sweet, let's go ahead and uh, get that one spun around, and do the same thing with this one here. Oh, that one's already facing the right way, look at that. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab our cables and get them kind of all linked up here. Now, the interface I made is basically a way to kind of, I guess, put items into the system really easily. And I'm going to use it to import things into refined storage all via one block. Then I can just uh, kind of move the cards around here and just get that working really quickly. I thought it'd be a nice, easy way to do it. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's just put it right here for all that matters. Throw the interface here. That should be connected now. And basically what I could do is uh, go to here to the down where I was pulling the items, the finished items out previously, I can just do it here instead. So that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and grab these two laser nodes. We'll have one here, one here. Go ahead and grab our wrench and then get them hooked up. Then on this one right here, we could automatically throw this into here. And now when an item goes into the, I guess gets pulled out of the machine, instead of getting put into this chest, it gets put into here, which means it goes into refined storage. So that is awesome, it takes care of that. Now we go ahead and finally put down our machines here. So we have the energized smelter and the basic enriching. This one here, we're gonna configure right away actually. So let's go ahead and do that. Have an import on this side. We'll do the output out the bottom, or sorry, the top. And this is gonna be used to make our enriched diamond, which we'll be able to then put into this machine here, right? Um, actually, no, let's do that separate, uh, different. We'll do that. Actually, this is the energized smelter, right? Yeah, I have this totally mixed up. 
The energized smelter is going to smelt down the steel. That's going to be what that's for. I'm also going to, the reason the crafter's underneath it, we're going to use it for doing all of our smelting as well. So that's kind of the idea. I want to go ahead and test an iron here and see if this system works though. So let's do that. Go ahead and uh, throw it in this chest, right? And we'll end up having a crafter on that chest down there as well to set up the rest of these recipes. But basically that should be in there. That should be, oh, that's the wrong chest that goes in there. It needs to go in this chest. <laughs> have the wrong this is the reason i have the separate chest here because it would mess up these recipes so we'll have crafter on this chest as well for steel but it should go here here then here then get pulled out but it doesn't have a pull out card yet so let's go ahead and grab the item card awesome uh, my main extract channel what color was that i can't actually remember go here down the finished item channel it would have been east no it's not on that machine <laughs> it's on this one it was yellow right there you go. Extract. And then yellow, right? Awesome. Cool. And then I should be able to just go to this one and do that. And hopefully that works. Actually. Oh, I didn't set the side of the machine. Let's go up, right? There we go. And that steel should be gone. Awesome. So that works. That just pulled the steel on the system. And that's done. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and work on this enriching. Uh, this enriching is going to have to have a recipe down here, right? So let's go down here. Go ahead into here. Uh, the first recipe is going to be this here. The, I guess, the enriched diamond. Then we're going to have to set it up so it always keeps one of those enriched diamond in this chest here. So we should be able to do that really easy with a crafting card. So I'm going to go ahead and hit in here, pull out one of the speeds, put in a crafting card. Then I guess I need to make an enriched diamond as well. So let's actually grab a diamond here. Oh, actually, I could do, actually, that won't, that'll freeze up the system. Let's wait until we have it ready here. Go ahead and do this. There you go. And then I guess we'll just put one in here. Awesome. Oh, I didn't set up energy for this one either. So let's go ahead and get that done. Awesome. There's so many cards. That's the only thing about this system. There's so many cards to set up. But outside of that, it's actually pretty cool. So that's good there. Then we need to pull out on yellow, right? So let's do a extract on yellow. Or is it there? Yellow. There you go. And then we want up on that, right? So let's do that there. Go. I don't know if I set this machine up yet. I did not. So be we'll just do insert on bottom, output on top. And hopefully you leave. <laughs> I don't know if I set that up right. Let's see here. Extract up. Oh, why do I have filter on that one? There you go. Did it pull it out? There you go. That's awesome. Okay, now then we could go ahead and actually grab that enriched, right? Actually, I could have set that too without even having the item now I think of it because you could actually pull it over, right? But anyway, it doesn't matter. Pop that there. It has the regulator, so it should keep one in that chest if I did this right. Actually, it might be making it right now because <laughs> I have the other one in my inventory, right? So it's going to make it. It's going to pull it out. Then it should end up in here. There you go. Then the last thing we need to do is actually just get into here. Then we're pretty much finished. Then I'll go ahead and do the rest of the stuff myself. I'll go ahead and set up a bunch of recipes and stuff. And then set up the refined obsidian as well. But just wanted to kind of make sure you guys saw everything I was doing here, right? This one was what color I was using, right? I was using the orange. So backpack here, orange. Uh, let's actually grab, actually have one of those on me, don't I? Let's use a um, counting filter on this, actually. And then we'll do this here. Awesome. And this one should be ready to go on this one, right? And that one should be set to the right size, or side, right? There you go, it has 80 billet buckets in there. It's gonna start doing the auto crafting. It's gonna fill it up. It'll hold one in the chest and one inside the machine. And then we won't have any spillover or any waste, right? So that's kind of the idea there. I'm gonna go ahead and set up refined obsidian and uh, maybe some crafting recipes here, just so we're ready for auto crafting. So I'm going ahead and set up a few more recipes here. So I have uh, pretty much everything ready to go. Pretty much everything we're going to be crafting here. I went ahead and made a few more crafters too because I realized it'd be an easier way to kind of get this set up too. So we're just going to do it uh, the simple way. I was going to go ahead and use this here because I never did. Let's go ahead and just use that there. It's going to give the basic smelting factory two more slots, which is fantastic. So we'll be able to uh, set up more recipes there. Actually, I have a bunch more smelting recipes put in here too. So the processors for sure, glass, and other processors. So we'll get that all in there. I guess uh, steel? No, steel won't be going in there, actually. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, hunt down the other spots for our other crafters here, right? So the chest is there, which means there's a crafter here. Let's go ahead and grab you. There you go. And I guess we'll get you out of there. 
Freaking this stuff is going to bane. Going to throw a crafter here. I'm just going to use regular crafters on these ones because it doesn't matter. They're mostly going to be doing one or two recipes, right? So this one here and this one here. Now it'll be able to, I guess, do the auto crafting on the alloys and the uh, basic control circuits. So I'll handle that one. Uh, this one here is going to end up with this recipe, right? Yeah, this one here. The No, not that one. That one is going to end up with this one. So the infused alloy equals a reinforced alloy. So I'll handle that one. Then this one here will be, I guess, for our atomic alloy. So I'll go ahead and get that out of there. And I will have that one done as well. Then we'll have one set up for our iron uh, turned into steel. And then we'll be pretty much finished. So I'm basically throwing away the concept of uh, doing all the crafting in a chest. <laughs> so it's basically what I've uh, got ahead and done. Anyway, let's go ahead and throw that there. And then I guess the last one would be, where is that last one? There's like uh, two of them, right? It's this one, I think. So yeah, it comes in here that goes in there. So that one needs a crafter underneath it. And then it's pretty much uh, finished here. But then we should have auto crafting for all these new resources, which is uh, fantastic. And all our metallurgics are, I guess, automated. In a way, I've never done it either because I've pretty much automated these machines um, er every way known to man. <laughs> anyway, do that. I've done XNAN, I've done foreign, fine storage, E2, all kinds of other stuff. Usually you have to connect to them on so many different sides. It's actually really nice to be able to do it this clean for a change. I actually really like this. But uh, if I want to go ahead and grab a steel now, I should be able to just go in here. Let's do that. Go ahead and grab 10. And see what happens here. Are you going to get stuff? Yeah, it's getting the iron. That's awesome. I'll have to go ahead and speed up all these machines too. But I need to go ahead and make some like steel dust. And gold dust and osmium dust. I'm going to have to make a crusher do that though. But anyway, that's fine. That should move over here, right? And then that should come over here and then when it's done it'll get pulled out put it to the system there and uh, that's fantastic now that we've changed our iron setup too we don't need this uh filtering here so this was the one that was bringing in the iron i believe right so, yeah so that one's fine we don't need that anymore and then there should be another one of those on the bottom this one right here we don't need that at all in fact we don't even need that chest anymore <laughs> so i should probably go ahead and get rid of that too so there's uh literally no reason to have that also, these chests break so slow, it's kind of painful. I'm going ahead and tested all the machines here, and uh, they're actually working great. So if I, like, go to the processors now, like, I set up all the processor recipes. Let's go to, like, 10 of them. Just do that real quick. Everything's going to come in. It's going to make the silicon. After it makes the silicon, it'll switch over to the processors. And everything's just working great. It's fantastic. I think it's a really cool setup. I actually really like this setup here. And uh, same thing with the alloys, right? So I can just go ahead and make our alloys now. And uh, get them done. So let's go ahead and make a couple of these ones, I guess. Let's do you. There you go. Let's just kind of come in, do its thing, get pulled in, and everything's working. It's just a really sleek little setup here. And I only have to connect the two sides. And I could have done it with one side. I could have done it with one side, but it would have been jank. So I decided to go anti jank and just connect the two. I'm used to connecting the four sides of these machines. So either way, this is good. But yeah, there you go processors, there you go alloys. And uh, we're pretty much done that quest line, actually, this one here. I guess the last thing we need is crusher, and that I need to make these circuits, but they're actual, like, manual crafting. I'll just set up recipes for those as well, and then we'll be good there, too. And then, I guess we'll have to get into refined obsidian, and once we have that refined obsidian, I think that's going to be what gets us to our next uh, coal generators. How does a person lose a full tank of lava? I have no idea. Apparently, I did. But anyway, that's good. Go ahead and do that there. Maybe something happened during an update, because I swear I had almost a thousand buckets right here. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, I need uh, two buckets here to be able to go ahead and make our crusher and finish off that quest line. Also realized too, I guess, uh, I didn't accept a quest that I had done. This one right here it was for the time in the bottle. So I now have the time in the bottle, which is fantastic. It basically can make things really quick, like really, really quick, actually. Is there two buckets in there? There is two. Let's go ahead and grab you, grab you. Yeah, basically it saves up time, and then you use that time to speed up machines. Actually, I'll show you real quick here. Go ahead and grab that. Um, let's just do like a little bit of cobble here. I need to get a whole bunch of cobble too, because we're actually a little short. But anyway, if I put that in there now, then go ahead and grab this. How much time do I have Nothing thing now? Hold two minutes. Let's go ahead and use it once, twice, three times. I only have enough time to do it four times right now. Basically, it'll just make it go super quick. So, really, really cool item. And it would have made uh, working with the mechanism machines a little quicker, but either way, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and uh, grab our crusher, right? So grab one of them. So that's good there. 
I thought that was a quest. Was that not the quest line? What am I still missing here? Oh, I'm missing the elite control circuits. Let's get our circuits too. I just want to have that kind of quest line finished up. <laughs> anyway, do that and that. Then grab one of those there. There you go. And uh, with that crusher, I'll be able to make these, right? So they just take the crushed down materials here. I guess we could produce the steel dust anyway. But the uh, osmium dust and the gold dust just need to be ground down the crusher or the crushing wheels. And I wasn't doing the crushing wheels, so if that's going to be all I was going to use it for. But either way, that is cool and really rad. But I think I'm going to go ahead and actually end this one here. I mean, we did pretty good today. I spent a lot of time on the setup here. Probably uh, for no reason, you know what I mean? I didn't really need to. I could have just did it with XNet probably in half the time. But uh, I just noticed when I look at this machine, do you look? I never noticed that before. They're like faces. That's like a face looking at me. What are you doing, dude? There's a whole bunch of faces staring at me here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. So as always, guys like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. We well, guys all have a good one. See you guys in the next video. Later.